Guys, what's happening? We're here today because DaVinci Resolve 18.1 is out, and there are some awesome Fairlight features in there. And you know, as an audio guy here, I'm going to be talking about that in voice isolation, as well as the dialogue leveler here in this first video. We're going to take a look at it. I've got a lot of examples here to show you guys how well this thing actually works. Does a great job, and super impressive is that it works on reverb. In my example that I have of reverb in my garage, kind of like this. But there were some questions as to whether it will work to remove reverb. So I'm in my garage here. This is about the most reverb I can get in my house. It does an awesome job. A lot of these background noise removals will remove background noise, but they don't work on echo and reverb. This one actually does, and it does a great job. So just a couple things about how the voice isolation works. It's AI based, so it's gonna listen to your clips and it's gonna find human voices. So if you're trying to remove background noise from something other than a human voice, it's probably not gonna work too good for you. But if you've got talking in there, it's gonna do a great job of removing the background noise and keeping the voice in there, and it uses AI to do that. And I have to say, it does a very good job at doing it too. Now you can use the voice isolation on either a mono track or a stereo track. So depending on how you got your track set up, it'll work either way on either track type. Now, like a lot of effects, if you crank it all the way up and you leave it at 100% there, you're probably gonna get a little bit of artifacting depending on the background noise you're trying to remove or whatever it is you're trying to remove from your audio. So keep that in mind. If you crank it all the way up, it's probably gonna get a little artifacty. At least it did in, in my examples and my experience of trying it out so far. So you might wanna dial it back just a little bit. Even if you go back to say 95 or 90%, it's gonna help it just not have some of that artifacting in there. So you wanna find a good balance between removing the background noise that you wanna get rid of, but not letting it sound too artifacty and, and just distorted, because that can happen too sometimes. Another thing with the voice isolation here is that you can't use it while you're live recording into Resolve. So some of the things like an EQ or other things, you can have applied to your audio as you're recording into Resolve. However, you cannot have this background noise reduction applied on your recording while you're recording into Resolve, like I am back here. You're gonna have to have your recording on your disc or on a hard drive, bring it into Resolve, and then you're gonna be able to apply this effect onto the track, and then it should help remove the background noise for you. But you can't do it while you're recording live. Now, both the voice isolation and the dialogue leveler can be used either in the edit page, the cut page, or in Fairlight. You've got the option, you can do it either place, and the effect is gonna be the same in both spots. It's quick, it's easy for both of these tools to help you just get good levels for your audio, which is super important. The first step in working with your audio is getting good levels, and the dialogue leveler is gonna help you do that. You'll see that in a minute, an example here. But removing that background noise, you don't have to be some kind of audio uh, nerd like myself here. You could just go ahead and turn it on in the edit page, the cut page, and and it's gonna help remove that background noise for you. All right, let's jump into Resolve here, I'll show you guys some examples and you can see how well these two effects work here in Resolve. Blackmagic, you guys are awesome. Always pushing the envelope, always making things better. I, I, I mean, it, it's just so exciting. I mean, you guys do so much great stuff. Let's jump into Resolve and get going. Now, before we jump in and try it and I show you where it is and how to use it, real quick, if you're having problems and you're not able to get it to work, because this happened to me pretty much all day yesterday, I was trying to try and wouldn't work, nothing would ha was happening, it wasn't doing anything. Well, I was running on Mac OS Big Sur, which it says in the, uh, the write-up that you should be able to run this effect in Big Sur, wasn't working for me. So eventually I just updated my whole system, came all the way up to, what is the new one, Ventura? Uh, updated to that and now it works perfectly fine. So if you're having problems, it's not working for you, you're on Mac OS, try updating all your stuff. Make sure you back up everything first. Always recommend you gotta back everything up. But definitely try upgrading everything. Make sure Resolve is up to date, your computer's up to date, everything's up to date that you can. Cause once I did that and upgraded everything, it was good to go and now it's been working perfectly fine with no problems. So jumping into Resolve here, let's talk about where can we find these two new effects. First of all, you gotta remember if you're in studio, you're gonna have both effects. But if you are on the free version, the voice isolation effect is not part of the free version. At least on my free version on my Mac here, my MacBook Pro over there, it's not on there. I do have the dialogue leveler in my free version that's on my MacBook Pro over here. But in studio, you're gonna get both of them. And I believe in the free version, you're only gonna get the dialogue leveler. So keep that in mind. Now, where can we find these? We can find them in the cut tab. We can find them in the edit tab, as well as in Fairlight in a few different spots. Let's jump in, check it out, and I'll show you how to grab them real quick. So in the cut tab down here, we can come and we can select our track, and we wanna just open up our inspector at the top right, right here. Open up our inspector, and here they are, voice isolation and dialogue leveler. Now, if we wanna apply it to the whole track, you just wanna make sure that you've selected your track somewhere in this area over here. Go ahead and turn it on, and now it's applied to the entire track, and that goes for both of these effects. Now let's say maybe I just wanted to apply it to one particular clip. You can do that if you want. So if I make a cut right here and I have this first clip and I wanna apply some voice isolation, I can just make sure my clip is selected. So select your clip, 
voice isolation in the inspector, turn it on, and now it's on for just that clip. For example, if I clip on the, click on the next clip, you can see it's not turned on there. If I go back to my first clip, it is turned on there. So you've got the option to turn it on on a whole track level if you want, or you can use it on just a clip level if you want to do that. So that's where it is in the cut tab. Let's jump over into the edit tab. Jumping into edit right here. Now, same thing in the edit tab. You want to open up your inspector. And if we want to apply the effect to an entire track, we're going to go ahead and select our track. And then you've got voice isolation right here. You can turn it on and off with the toggle just like in the cut tab. Same for the dialog leveler. Now, if you want to pop out the window so we can see the uh, the window a little bit, the effect, so we don't, you have to use this slider, just go ahead and click right up over here on this little custom icon, and that's going to bring up your effect right here where we can use the dial to change things around. And same thing for the dialog leveler. If I go ahead and turn that on and hit that little button, it's going to bring up this guy, which is going to show us the actual effect where we can make some changes if we want to. Now that's applying it to a whole track in the edit page. If you want to do just a clip, exact same thing, select your clip, and then you can come into your inspector and right here, voice isolation dialogue leveler, go ahead and click them on. And that's going to apply to just that clip. So you can do it either way, whatever you need to do. Now let's jump over into Fairlight, coming into Fairlight. Again, the same thing, we can find it in our inspector. So you got your inspector here. If I select the track by clicking over in this area somewhere, it's going to highlight the track for me. Now I can apply voice isolation and the dialogue lever to the track. Now, if you want to apply it to just a clip, go ahead and select your clip, jump into the inspector and you've got voice isolation and dialogue leveler, turn on whatever you want. Now, the other place that you can see it is down here in your mixer, right? So you want to make sure you've got your mixer open right here at the top. Come on down. We have a new section here called track FX. Now, if you don't see this, which you might not, and I didn't at first, come to these three little dots and then come on down to track effects right here. Make sure that that is checked on and then you're going to be able to see these two options. So this is for applying these two effects on a track level. So if you want to apply it on the track level, go ahead and come in here and you can hit uh, the, the button on the on button right there to turn them on or you can turn it off if you want like that. And you can also adjust that custom settings menu right here in the mixer. If I turn it on, I can hit the custom button there. And here's my little window. So those are the three different ways you can access the effects in the cut page, the edit page, and Fairlight, multiple ways in Fairlight. And that's how you can apply it to either a clip or a track. So it depends on your situation, how you want to use it, but those are the ways that you can get to it. Now let's get into some examples. All right, so let's run through these examples here real quick, and I'm just going to go through the examples. I'm not going to give you any commentary. I'm going to let you hear the differences. You're going to see when I turn the effect on and off, the, the voice isolation, that is. I'm going to turn it on and off so you can hear the difference in these clips, and uh, then after that, we'll wrap up with some final thoughts on how this guy's working, and then we'll check out the voice leveler as well. So I'm going to apply the voice isolation on the entire track. I'm going to open up my little uh, effect here so I can change the settings a little bit. I'm going to start with it off, and then I'll play through and turn it on and off. You'll see how it goes. All right, so check this out. Here's another sample. We got the wind. It's blowing right into the microphone here. I don't have an expensive microphone on here. This is a fairly budget microphone. We've got some wind coming in. You should be able to hear that. So now if we throw on this effect, this plug in here, here's what we got. Do you hear any noise in there? Do you hear any wind noise, any background noise, anything like that? We're going to have some more samples coming up. So stay tuned. I want to hear your comments. What do you think? Can you hear it? Does it sound good? Does well, we got a pretty windy area here. You can see the flag blowing up over there. I think it's gonna do a pretty good job cutting out that wind noise and just hearing my voice. Here's if we turn it off. You can hear the wind if I even turn into the wind a little more. Now it's blowing into the microphone. How's it doing in cutting out that wind noise and just getting my voice through? All right, here's another example for you. Same microphone, inexpensive microphone. I'm out here, there's a little bit of wind. There's actually not any wind right now, but there is somebody riding a scooter around. I don't know who it is, but they're going in circles and they're making noise. So let's see if this plugin can get rid of that noise and just make my voice be clear. So here's another example. We got a little more traffic going on. Actually, same spot as yesterday. We got some wind noise, got some traffic. This is going to take those cars out. And can we hear me clear without any cars in the background? You can even dial it back a little bit so you can hear a few cars, which might work out good. You want a little bit of background noise, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you don't. All right, here we are. We're next to an air conditioner here. You should be able to hear this. This guy's loud, okay? It's, uh, it's an air conditioner, right? So if we turn on, here's what it sounds like. Does it make my voice clear? Does it get rid of the air conditioner? You tell me what it sound like on your end. Comment down below. Let's say maybe you are outside in the jungle. You're trying to film some cool animals or something going on, and you got critters in the background making crazy noises like that. Here's another good example for you. I got machines working in the background here. They're pretty loud. They're busting up some concrete. And I'm gonna build some warehouses. So this is what it sounds like without the Clarity VX turned on. And now I'm gonna turn it on and show you how it isolates my voice. I am using a microphone that's a little bit better, so hopefully that kind of helps too, because obviously the quality of your equipment makes a difference. So this is with Clarity. 
Here's one for you. Anybody who's used a GoPro knows you got wind noise in the GoPro, right? Here's what it sounds like right now. I'm going, what am I going, 10, 12 miles an hour, something like that. Here's what it sounds like if we use on GoPro footage. I'm cruising into the wind here, so we all deal with that if you use a GoPro. Lots of wind noise. In the last and final example here, we got some music playing in the background. Hear it? And we're going to see if it can get rid of that music in the background. Now it's still playing. Same video. Let me turn it off. And let's go ahead and turn it back on. Can it pick out just my voice and get rid of that background music? Now that is huge because I know a lot of people always want to remove background music if it's in a video and maybe they don't want it there. All right, so I think it worked pretty good there, right? When we had wind noise, it did a great job of kind of taking out that wind. Um, when we were riding on the GoPro, uh, riding on the scooter with the GoPro didn't work uh, 100%, but it's definitely an improvement. Um, is it worth using? Yeah, I think I would use it on there. Construction equipment, it worked out pretty good, but there was some higher pitched uh, frequencies in there with uh, with the jackhammer, whatever it was. You could hear that in there a little bit, but still overall, it did a pretty good job. Now with that music at the end, that last clip there, it definitely uh, muted that music and really just pulled the voice out. And you could hear my voice without hearing any of the music in the background. That's impressive. I think it did a great job on that. Now I have another example right here real quick I want to take a look at. And that is a play that I recorded. There was tons of background noise. I had a hard, super hard time trying to clean that up a little bit. So let's hear how this uh, voice isolation does on that and um, see if it makes an improvement. Let's listen in here. All right, so now that's a really tough example. I mean, that's it, the audio there is very rough. Um, I think it helps. I would not crank it all the way up in that situation because it just it cut out too much of the voices, right? But if I brought it back to say, 30, what am I, 37% there, 25% maybe, it seemed like it did a pretty good job. So you got to play with it a little bit too. You don't want to crank it all the way up. You're going to get distortion. It's going to sound weird. It's not going to sound right. But um, but it does work, and you may just need to dial it back a little bit because even if we can just reduce some of that background noise, that's going to help a lot too. Now here's an example with reverb. Check this out. It did a great job on the reverb here. Um, just, just listen to this clip here. I'm going to turn it off, play the clip. You're going to hear the reverb with me in the garage, and then I'm going to turn it on. But there were some questions as to whether it will work to remove reverb. So I'm in my garage here. This is about the most reverb I can get in my house. And I'm going to go ahead now. What does it sound like? What do you guys think? Does it help with that reverb? Now, when I listen to it back. So there you go. Reverb. It works really good on reverb. Definitely better than uh, some of the other background noise removal plugins that I've tried. Does a great job on reverb here. So that's huge. Helps get rid of some of that echo and reverb. Um, I think it does really a great job on that. So overall, the voice isolation does a fantastic job. It does really well. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Again, I wouldn't crank it up all the way a lot of times, but I think it's going to do a really good job. That's fast. It's easy. You don't need to know any audio stuff to be able to pop it in there, turn it on, and really clean up your audio quick and easy there and get rid of some of that background noise. So fantastic job, Blackmagic Design. You guys are awesome. Did a great job. Now let's talk about the dialogue level real quick now what is the dialogue leveler it's going to help kind of balance out your audio right it's kind of like a form of compression right we're going to take our highs bring them down we're going to take our quiet parts bring them up and we're going to kind of balance out our audio a little bit so i've got a clip here where i film myself where there's louder parts and quieter parts let's listen to that real quick and then i'm going to go ahead and throw on the dialogue leveler you can see the difference here and uh, we can see how well it does is when we're vlogging like this and then let's say i come over here i put down the camera and then i come back from the camera and i'm back over here so now that I'm a little farther away, my voice and the levels of my voice are going to drop a little bit because I'm farther away from the microphone. So that's how the volume of the clip drops as I get farther away from the microphone. Now let's turn on the dialogue leveler. I'm going to go ahead and open up my settings here. I'm just going to use the default settings and uh, we're going to turn it on and let's see how well it does. Is when we're vlogging like this and then let's say I come over here, I put down the camera and then I come back from the camera and I'm back over here. So now that I'm a little farther away, my voice and the levels of my voice are going to drop a little bit because I'm farther away from the microphone. So the consistency there between the loud parts and the quiet parts is definitely balanced out. It's like adding in some compression and some makeup here in the dynamics panel. The Fairlight does a really good job. I mean, it's a, it's a, you, you can't get much quicker than that for a one quick option for a dialogue leveler or like a voice leveler. And it kind of just helps balance out your levels there. 
does a really good job. And I do like that they included a gain output here because sometimes when you apply some of these effects, you're going to lose a little bit of the volume or the gain for your audio, right? So if that's the case, we can always just come in here and boost this guy up a little bit, get some of that volume back for our clips. But the, the, the dialogue level here is a, a huge feature, game changer for a lot of you guys who don't want to spend the time to go through and try and balance audio levels and things like that. Again, a lot of times I would do that with compression so you don't have to go in and keyframe things and all that. But the dialogue level here is going to do a fantastic job. One click option, just turn it on, maybe make a little adjustment if you even need to. But it's going to do a great job of help balancing out your audio and just making it sound better for anybody who's watching your videos. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up this video about these two new features here in DaVinci Resolve for your audio, the dialogue leveler and the voice isolation. It's fantastic. Blackmagic, you guys did a great job with it. Super impressed. And I know you guys are going to keep pushing the envelope. You're just going to keep getting better and better in all parts of Resolve because that's what you guys do. That's just what you guys keep doing. And, and you keep showing us, the users, that you guys are keep pushing this thing forward. You're adding in features that people might like from other programs out there um, and things that us as users need in DaVinci Resolve, the things we want to see, and the things that just make our job easier and uh, help us to edit and get our videos done quicker. And your audio too. If you're doing a podcast, something like these two features are going to be fantastic. By the way, do you guys know I have a podcast I started? Yeah, yeah, answering your guys' questions and uh, just chatting some stuff. I'm, I'm throwing it out there, seeing if it seeing if it works. So I'm going to be using these two tools on there and uh, just really help clean up the audio in my podcast. So you guys should do that too if you're doing podcasts as well. With that said, guys, we are getting into more of these awesome new features here in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Looking forward to getting in there, trying them out. And uh, with that said, guys, you have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.